Today has been such a fabulous event. It's all around the Construction Leadership Council's five client commitments. And we're hosted by Heidelberg, who've got such incredible innovation, particularly in the cement space, which we are really keen to harness around our journey towards net zero. But we've also brought together all other clients across the construction industry. And it's so that we're swimming in the same direction. We're stimulating the market and really putting net zero on the top of everyone's agenda. We're joined by loads of key players in the construction industry today and there's a couple to note, particularly around Heathrow and Transport for London who presented alongside Lower Thames Crossing and they were able to demonstrate some of the innovations they've been able to put into practice. Uh, as we're talking about the planning stages, working with our delivery partners, we actually were able to see some proof points of how this is being delivered across the industry. And for other clients who are there today, it's a learning opportunity really to see some of the challenges that we face and we're really open and honest about some of the challenges we're facing in this space, but also about the opportunities and particularly the opportunity uh, that we can leverage the demand of the market when we come together, collaborate and then really drive the industry towards net zero. Uh, the five client carbon commitments are important to us because um, it's bringing us together with industry partners and similar infrastructure providers um, and gives us a real kind of tangible focus on the key hotspots to our carbon footprint, things like diesel use, uh, concrete and steel. My advice for other organisations would be just to commit. Don't worry if your data isn't perfect, if your ducks aren't all in a row. Um, really getting involved, collaborating and committing early is what's going to make the biggest difference. So we've signed up to the CLC's five carbon commitments and really it focuses our efforts on five key areas. So particularly how we embed carbon in our procurement activity, now that's critical, that's the time in which we first engage the supply chain to set those minimum standards. It's also about how we report on carbon, so we are affiliated with PAS 2080, it's an industry standard, again it's a common language we can speak to the supply chain. And then it focuses our, our efforts in three key commodities, so particularly around concrete, steel and diesel. Now these account for the biggest carbon emitters on our programme and that's not atypical of any other industry programme uh, such as ours. So really it streamlines our focus and our efforts so that we can uh, turn the dial uh, towards uh, decarbonising the construction industry. So collaboration is key for us. Uh, I think it's important that the whole supply chain from you know, digging the materials out of the ground to actually enabling them into the buildings and then how we use the buildings afterwards is, is really important and people have to understand all of the touch points, especially around carbon, where the embedded carbon is within the different cycles of that supply chain. So events like this is critical, it brings that supply chain together in industries which we wouldn't normally sit in the same room um, and that's why it's so valuable that you get the chance to talk to experts, you get the chance to learn from their innovation projects, what, what's worked for them, what hasn't worked for them um, and it's just about learning and, and providing, sort of getting a network together to sort of deliver that net zero. Um, it's been a fantastic day speaking with people who have familiar and similar challenges to our own um, and really uplifting that there is hope and there is going to be progress made and um, it's closer than we might think. We simply won't achieve what we want to without collaborating. So collaborating with our supply chain partners, collaborating with other clients and the broader industry, so st stakeholders in central government, local authorities and beyond. And I think today was a fantastic proof point around that. If you bring like-minded people together with shared ambitions, we can really drive forwards together.